Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionellus with another rheumatology video. In the previous video, we have talked about anti-centromere antibodies, which are seen in limited scleroderma. Today, we'll talk about anti-scleroderma 70, also known as anti-topoisomerase 1, which is present in diffuse scleroderma. With that being said, now let's get started. In rheumatology, no single blood test whatsoever can confirm the diagnosis. Always ask yourself, does the lab test correlate with the clinical picture? Quick review, rheumatoid arthritis, we have rheumatoid factor anti-CCP. More sensitive, less sensitive. Less specific, more specific. Correlates with disease activity, correlates with disease activity. Systemic lupus. Anti-double-stranded DNA, anti-Smith, anti-U1-RNP, anti-ribosomal P protein. Specific, specific, non-specific specific. This one correlates with lupus nephritis and lupus vasculitis. This one correlates with liver disease and CNS problems. And we have talked about antibodies in Jogren syndrome, anti-SSA and anti-SSB. They are seen in Jogren and lupus. They are correlated with neonatal lupus because they can be transferred from mommy to the baby as well as congenital heart block. Also anti-SSA and anti-SSB, you have increased risk of what? Of non- Hodgkin's lymphoma in case of Jogren syndrome. Don't ever forget that. Scleroderma divided into limited and diffuse. I'm just keeping it simple. Limited is Crest syndrome, anti-centromere antibody. The diffuse or systemic sclerosis, we have anti-RNA polymerase 3 and anti-scleroderma 70. We've talked about anti-RNA polymerase 3. In a previous video, it was associated with scleroderma renal crisis. Today, we'll talk about anti-scleroderma 70, also known as anti-topoisomerase 1. And it's gonna also be associated with scleroderma renal crisis. Anti-scleroderma 70 or antibodies to DNA topoisomerase 1, if you remember biochemistry and molecular biology. Okay, we see it in progressive systemic sclerosis and diffuse cutaneous systemic sclerosis. Okay, about 40% of patients. Something more like 40 to 70, I don't care. Uh, translation, it's not that sensitive. It can also be seen in limited scleroderma, also known as Crest syndrome, in about 10% of cases. Of course, this is very non-sensitive. Great news for you, I have 50 hematology cases on my Patreon page. Please go to patreon.com forward slash medicosis and get those cases. They are amazing. In diffuse cutaneous systemic sclerosis. Anti-topoisomerase 1 antibodies are associated with interstitial lung disease, scleroderma renal crisis, remember? Cardiac involvement plus tendon friction rubs. I've told you before, anti-centromere antibodies are associated with improved survival. Anti-scleroderma 70 are associated with reduced survival because this is limited scleroderma and this is diffuse systemic sclerosis. This is not the Affordable Care Act. So here is a quick summary of all of the O2 antibodies that you see in scleroderm. Limited and diffuse. Limited systemic sclerosis, diffuse systemic sclerosis. Okay, limited scleroderm, Crest syndrome, anti-centromere antibody. This anti-centromere antibody is associated with calcinosis cutis, digital ischemia, primary biliary cirrhosis, and pulmonary arterial hypertension, especially the isolated one. What do you mean isolated? You just have pulmonary artery hypertension. You don't have renal problems. You don't have interstitial pulmonary fibrosis, just, just the pulmonary artery. Okay, let's go to the diffuse type of scleroderma or diffuse systemic sclerosis. We have anti-RNA polymerase 3, which is associated with scleroderma renal crisis, increased risk of cancer such as well, such as lung cancer and esophageal cancer. Why lung cancer? Because you have long time interstitial lung disease. Okay. Why esophageal cancer? Because you have long term gastroesophageal reflux disease. If you understand cancer, if you have trauma for an extended period of time, you have trauma and trauma to the tissue 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 you have increased risk of cancer at that specific location. 
Then we have also anti-scleroderma 70, also known as anti-topoisomerase 1. Scleroderma renal crisis, interstitial lung disease, as well as cardiac involvement. It's a systemic scleroderma. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell. Get all of my notes and my cases on patreon.com forward slash medicosis. They are just awesome, guys. Come on, I'll send you my Dropbox links only for Patreon subscribers. Thank you for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.